If you want to sell printable planners on Etsy or your own website for passive income, by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to create them in Canva absolutely for free. Hey, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sandra and I talk all about creating and selling digital products online to make passive income while building your business and brand. So if that's something you're interested in, be sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. I sell a few different types of printable planners like daily planners, weekly and monthly planners, and social media content calendars and trackers. Some of these were created over a year ago and I still make sales from them to this day. So I'm going to walk you through exactly how you can start creating them in Canva. It's super easy and it's free. And if you're serious about selling them online, be sure to check out my video that I posted last week right after this because I show you exactly how I do keyword research on printable planners specifically so that I rank on Etsy. All right, first you wanna decide what kind of planner you want to create and list all the items you want to include. So for today's example, I wrote down a daily planner and then I've listed all the items that I want in the planner and then also I put weekly planner and then all the items there because I think I'm actually going to sell this as a package but for today's tutorial we're just going to focus on daily planner for the sake of time and then once you've done that do up a little sketch in your notebook on how you want the layout to look and do up a few sketches just brainstorm to see because this took me a few tries but i'm pretty happy with this layout so i'm going to recreate this in canva and add some nice final touches so like i mentioned you only need the free version of canva to create this printable planner but if you do want to upgrade to the pro version i will leave my 30-day free trial link in the description box down below okay so go to create a design at the top right hand corner here go to custom size and I'm going to create a US letter size. So that's eight and a half by 11 inches and go to create new design. So I want to work within half inch margins. So to do that, you can go to file, click on show rulers and show guides. So you'll see the rulers at the top and the left hand side here. Now to add the margins, just go ahead and slide the ruler over into the artboard and you'll see the inches as you drag. And I'll do it to the other side here. I've gone ahead and added it to the top and bottom as well. Now I'm actually going to add a guide in the middle too, because if you saw my sketch, I kind of have two columns. So this is just a way for me to even everything out. So the first step is I want to add my quote at the top left over here. So go to text and click on add a heading and I'll type my quote in. Now to change the font, just click over here and you can upload your own font. So if you have the commercial license to some fonts or you've created your own, you can just upload it by going to upload a font or you can use some of the free fonts that Canva offers. Now I'm sure I'm going to get questions on what free fonts you're allowed to use for a commercial license. So if you haven't seen this video yet, I recommend you watch that right after this because I go into that in more detail. So I'll use this pretty script font and I'm going to change the size right up here and just make it a little bit smaller. Now I'm going to add my date. So click on add a subheading and I'll change the size of this as well and drag it up to the top over here. To add a line for someone to be able to write down the date, just go to elements and you'll see lines and shapes right over here. Go ahead and click on the line and you can change the color of the line up here. You can also change the weight. So I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to make it thinner and I can drag the side here to make it smaller and I'll put it right up top here. Now let's start adding in my items. So I'm going to need a gratitude section. So I'm just going to copy and paste this text here. And by the way, I used a free Google font, which is shadows into light Two. I show you how to check if it's a free font in the video that I had just mentioned. So let's type in gratitude and I want a box for someone to be able to write their gratitude and affirmations in. So I'm going to go to elements again and under lines and shapes, I'm going to click on the rectangle and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller here. You can change the color by going up here and I'm going to select this soft pink and I'm actually going to change the transparency just to make it a little bit lighter. So you can go up here to transparency and I'll change it to, let's say 30 for now. You can always darken it or lighten it as you wish to add a nice cute little touch. I'm going to add a little heart at the bottom, right? So what you can do is on elements, you can click on search and just type in heart shape. Now, some of these are free to use in the free version and some of them you can use in the pro version. So I'm going to use a pro heart shape, but there are a lot of similar ones again that you can use in the free version. 
So I'm going to make it smaller and place it right at the corner here. Now I want to group the heart and rectangle together so that it becomes one element. And you'll see this is important for later when I want to center everything within this column. So to do that, I highlighted both the heart and the rectangle and I can click on group here. So it's now one element. Let's copy and paste the text again, bring it over here for the schedule and appointments. For this, I'm going to add a bunch of lines. So I'm going to copy and paste this line and a quick way to actually duplicate the line is just select it and go control D for duplicate and just use the rulers on the left hand side if you want to decide the width of each space I do about quarter inch or just above a quarter inch so I'm going to duplicate a bunch of these lines right now now you can see all my lines are a mess they're not lined up so what I would do is highlight all of them go to position and click on tidy up. So you can see now they're all lined up perfectly and the space between each line is equal. Now, if I want to center everything so far, I can highlight everything, go to the three dots here, position, center and it just centered everything i have more elements to add in but i just wanted to show you that feature now i'm going to add in my to-do list which is very similar to the schedule the way it looks but i'm going to add text boxes so i'm just going to copy and paste all of these lines bring it over here and i'm going to add little text boxes so go back to elements click on search and type in square i'm going to use this one here which is under the free version and i'm going to make it really small now i can duplicate and add it in above each line then I'm going to select all of them, go to position and tidy up. So I've centered everything on the left hand side and now I'm going to add the priorities item on the right hand side, which looks like the to-do list, but it's just shorter. So I'm actually going to copy and paste a part of the to-do list here, change it to priorities. If you want gratitude and priorities to line up perfectly, just select both and go to the three dots position and click on here top and priorities will move up so that it's lined up perfectly. Now to add my meals item, I want to create a box with four sections for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. So first I'm going to line this up over here to the top and I'm going to create another box. Now I'm going to copy this line over right here and I'll line it up all at the very end. You'll see how I do it. So I'm just going to rotate this one 90 degrees. So I'll highlight both lines and the rectangle, go to position. I'm going to center it and I'm going to click on middle as well so that it's perfectly aligned vertically and horizontally. Now I'm just going to add my text in for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. The last section I'm adding is notes and I'm actually going to make it look like how gratitude looks. So I'm going to copy all of this. Now, remember I grouped everything together. So I'm going to copy all of that, paste it, bring it over here and use my guides to line everything up in the center of the right column. I'm going to actually ungroup this because I'm going to change the text to notes and I want my box to be larger. So let's drag this down here and bring the heart down as well. Okay, let's see what this looks like without all these guides in the way. And I think that looks super cute. So I would create a PDF file for just the daily planner and then I would create a new artboard for a weekly planner because I like to separate them. So you can just go to download, click on the drop down here for file type and select PDF print and then you can just click on download and then it will download to your computer. Now, if you wanna know how to upload a PDF document or a JPEG file onto Etsy, in a listing for a digital product, you can check out my video. I walk you through all of that. I will link it up in the cards for you as well as in the description box down below. I personally don't make any of my printable planners fillable because I find that all my customers like to print it and actually write it out by hand. But if you do want to make them fillable, like this example here, I have free digital planners. I'll actually link this in the description box down below for you so you can download it and see if you prefer this way more. You can create something exactly like this using a free tool called Called PDF escape. Let me know if you would like a whole tutorial on how to actually use that and how I created these planners specifically. So it's just that easy guys. Let me know if you have any questions on this tutorial in the comments down below. As I mentioned, I highly recommend you check out this video right after this, where I show you how to do keyword research for printable planners. It will help you get ahead of the competition. If you are starting a printable shop,
shop on Etsy. I have an Etsy digital product seller workbook that I will link for you in the description box down below. And if you need some more digital product ideas, I have a free guide that lays out 20 digital products that you can choose from. And that will also be in the description box down below for you. If this video was helpful, be sure to hit the like button, notification bell, and don't forget to subscribe before you go. Also, let me know if you have any questions on the tutorial in the comments down below. And as always, let me know what other content you would love to see on my channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye for now.